unmasking short squeezes, identifying high probability plays with option chain data. Understanding the anatomy of a short squeeze. A short squeeze occurs when a heavily shorted stock experiences rapid upward price movement, forcing short sellers to buy shares to close their positions, which further accelerates the price increase. This creates a self-reinforcing cycle that can produce explosive gains for traders positioned on the long side. The key ingredients for a potential short squeeze include high short interest, limited share float, a catalyst for upward price movement, and increasingly a gamma squeeze component driven by options activity. Why option chain data matters. Traditional short squeeze analysis focuses solely on short interest metrics and days to cover. However, modern squeezes, particularly those seen in recent years with stocks like GameStop, AMC, and numerous others, often involve a critical options component that amplifies the move. Option chain data provides visibility into this hidden pressure that can turn a modest short squeeze into a parabolic event. When traders buy call options, market makers who sell these contracts must hedge their exposure by purchasing the underlying stock. As the stock price rises and approaches or exceeds strike prices with heavy call open interest, market makers must buy more shares to remain delta neutral. This creates buying pressure independent of the short covering, potentially creating a gamma squeeze that supercharges the short squeeze. Key metrics to analyze in option chains. Call open interest distribution. Look for unusual concentrations of call open interest at specific strike prices, particularly those slightly out of the money. Large open interest walls represent potential magnetism points where the stock may gravitate toward, and if breached, can trigger significant hedging activity. Put call ratio. An unusually low put call ratio combined with high short interest can signal that retail and institutional traders are positioning bullishly through options while shorts remain entrenched. This divergence often precedes volatile moves. Implied volatility skew. When near term call options show elevated implied volatility relative to puts, it suggests heightened demand for upside exposure. This often accompanies growing squeeze potential as more traders position for explosive upward movement. Gamma exposure. Advanced traders analyze dealer gamma positioning. When dealers are short gamma, negative gamma exposure, they must buy into rallies and sell into declines, amplifying volatility in both directions. Stocks with high short interest and negative dealer gamma create particularly explosive conditions. Unusual options activity. Sudden spikes in call volume, particularly in near term out of the money calls, can signal that informed traders are positioning for an imminent squeeze. Compare current volume to average daily volume and look for multiples of 3x or higher. Cross reference your findings with technical analysis. Short squeezes often initiate from areas of technical significance, like resistance breakouts moving average reclaims, or breakouts from consolidation patterns. The technical trigger combined with the fundamental setup creates timing opportunities. Risk management considerations. Short squeeze plays are inherently high risk, high reward situations. The same forces that can drive explosive gains can reverse violently once shorts have covered or when options expire worthless. Position sizing should be conservative. These should represent a small portion of your portfolio given their speculative nature. Many experienced traders risk no more than 2 to 5% of their capital on any single squeeze candidate. Time your entry carefully. Entering too early means enduring potential drawdown while the setup develops. Entering too late means chasing into an already extended move. Watch for the initial signs of momentum increased volume, technical breakout, or accelerating price action as entry signals. Set clear profit targets and stop losses. Short squeezes can reverse as quickly as they develop, so taking profits in tranches as the stock rises
protects gains. A common approach involves selling 25 to 50 percent of the position once you've doubled your money, then trailing stops on the remainder. Be aware of expiration dates when options-driven gamma squeezes are involved. The hedging pressure from market makers diminishes significantly once weekly or monthly options expire, often leading to sharp reversals. Real-world application. Consider a hypothetical stock trading at $15 with 40% short interest and a 30 million share float. The option chain shows 25,000 call contracts at the 1750 strike expiring in two weeks, representing 2.5 million shares or over 8% of the float. If the stock breaks above 1750 on increasing volume, market makers must hedge these now in the money calls by purchasing shares. Simultaneously, shorts who may have been comfortable with their positions at $15 face mounting losses and pressure to cover. The combination creates buying pressure from both sources. A trader recognizing this setup might establish a position as the stock approaches 1750, perhaps using a combination of shares and near-term call options to maximize leverage while limiting capital at risk. As the squeeze unfolds, and the stock pushes towards $20, they systematically take profits, understanding that the move's sustainability depends on continued short covering and maintaining momentum. Limitations and false signals. Not every stock with high short interest and unusual options activity will squeeze. Short sellers often have legitimate reasons for their positions, fundamental concerns about the business that may ultimately prove correct. The high short interest might reflect smart money that correctly identified an overvalued situation. Options activity can be misleading. Large call purchases might represent hedging activity, covered call writing, or spread strategies rather than directional bullish bets. Context matters and isolated metrics rarely tell the complete story. Timing squeezes is notoriously difficult. A stock can remain heavily shorted and maintain unusual options positioning for extended periods without squeezing. Shorts may have deep pockets and conviction, willing to withstand paper losses while awaiting fundamental deterioration. Conclusion. Option chain data adds a powerful dimension to traditional short squeeze analysis, revealing the hidden gamma pressures that can amplify price movements. By combining short interest metrics with call open interest analysis, unusual options activity, and implied volatility patterns, traders can identify higher probability squeeze candidates. However, this approach demands discipline, careful risk management, and recognition that not every setup will materialize. The goal isn't to catch every short squeeze, but to identify situations where multiple factors align to create asymmetric risk reward opportunities. When the pieces fall into place, high short interest, limited float, concentrated call positioning, and a catalyst to trigger movement, the potential for outsized returns emerges.